Do, 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 who are the new laws for real estate investors and wholesalers? Dum, 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 dum. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. What's going on, guys? It's your man, Ed Hayes here, back for another episode of the Wholesaler Mastermind Podcast. Man, I know it's been some time since I've come with a fresh episode, but, you know, today I just want, I want to cover a variety of different topics. You know, I figured that we can condense these episodes down nice and good and, and you know, jam-pack a lot of information into like a longer form video for you all. And maybe we'll break these down into smaller videos as well and stuff like that or whatever. So, I hope that y'all rock with me on this one. Let me know what y'all think about it down below in the comment box. If y'all like long form content, kind of really get to pick my brain and, you know, I'll likely be in the live chat down below as well. So let's let's chop it up. Let's actually have a conversation. I'm going to be talking about a lot of different topics. But before we fully, fully get into this video, let's do some housekeeping. So, guys, make sure that, you know, if y'all checking out this video, make sure that y'all are following me on social media man look follow me on all social media channels at the wholesale coach instagram uh, uh on twitter is at wholesale coach um you know facebook everywhere tiktok make sure that y'all follow me on tiktok man we've been posting a lot of content over on tiktok definitely follow me over there also, some other things, guys, um, you know, definitely check out Wholesaler University if y'all interested in finding out everything that I know about wholesaling from A to Z, you know, and, and really getting these breakdowns from how to use this system, how to use that one, how to really get out here and rock and roll, how to structure the business in a way that's going to make sense. Definitely check it out at Wholesaler University. That's going to be linked down below as well as the link to schedule a one-on-one -on -one strategy session with me. I know a lot of y'all maybe be needing somebody to just chat with, try to figure out some questions, trying to get started out here, you definitely want to grab that strategy session option so we can hop on a phone call. You can pick my brain for 90 minutes, one-on-one. -on -one. You can ask me any questions that you may have about the wholesaling space, about real estate in general. Definitely schedule those strategy sessions. They seem to be some of the most helpful conversations that I have with people, so definitely check that out. And then also, I realize a lot of y'all don't even realize that I have a coaching program. So definitely check out the coaching program link down below. I do have some spots available right now. It is a significant fee. Don't schedule the phone call unless you know that you can actually afford to not only pay for the coaching, but be able to market your business as well. We could definitely talk about it on a chat though. So schedule a call with me for the coaching program down below. And yeah, make sure that you all check out the podcast. I'm going to start posting more audio as well as video for the whole Sell It Mastermind podcast. I'm going to start doing a lot more interviews and things of that nature on the whole Sell It Mastermind podcast, and it can be found everywhere that podcasts are found, okay? So that's Google, Stitcher, CastBox, Apple Podcasts, anywhere that you listen to your podcast, just search for the Whole Seller Mastermind Podcast on Google. Trust me, you'll see it right there, all right? So that's about it in terms of the housekeeping, all right? So we're going to go ahead and dive into the actual topics that I want to touch base on today. So first things first, um, and you know, I've been hearing some 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 murmurs going on. It's been like this little hush hush kind of conversation that's been going on amongst some of the, you know, if you want to call them heavy hitters in the industry. And it's that deal flow seems to have been going down. Right. So it seems like there's not as many deals to kind of split amongst everyone in the space. It's just not as many. If you're looking at your stats from last year and the year before and the year before compared to 2022, you're likely seeing a decrease in how many leads you're getting in on a weekly slash monthly basis. Obviously, that's not everybody, but some of the people that I've been speaking with, there's been some, some murmurs going on, but I have a theory on why this is happening. See, back when I first got started in the wholesaling space, and I heard somebody state this really, really good. Basically, when I when I got started back in 2016, the only question that we had to answer for a seller was, what does a wholesaler do? What does an investor do? So basically, we'll just have to break down like, yeah, you know, we're going to, you know, we're going to buy your house. You're not going to have to pay any closing costs. You're not going to have to fix the property, so on and so forth. We're basically just kind of telling them the general aspects. Now, a lot of people know who wholesalers are. So now we have to answer the question, what makes you different? 
right? So what I think is is really, really going on is that a lot of people are seeing less deals coming into their pipeline, despite the fact that I think that more deals are actually being sold via wholesalers now than back when I first got started. There's way more wholesalers and a lot of these big boy companies are buying their deals from wholesalers. The question is, where are these deals going then? Like, why are there less deals actually, you know, able to split amongst everyone? My theory is this. I think that since there's been such a large influx of new wholesalers coming into the space, that's causing a lot of the heavy hitter buyers to only buy more and more and more deals from the people that they're already comfortable with. The people that are already the big boys are just selling more deals to their buyers. So the people that's on the quote unquote bottom, like the brand new wholesaler or, you know, somebody, you know, that's been out here in the game for a while, but maybe they're using the same exact strategies that they were using before, so on and so forth. They haven't kind of um, adjusted along the way. Those people, those people are seeing less deals. It's just less trickling down because a lot of these deals are being bought by iBuyers or hedge funds and things like that. We've got a lot of new buyers coming into the space, just like we've got lots of new wholesalers. So I think when you add all of these factors together, it puts us in a position where there's just less deals to go around. And this is what I've been hearing other people say too. Like your favorite guru may not be closing as many deals as you think they are in all reality, or they're starting to transition over into different methods like subject to deals, lease options, buying properties themselves and taking them down. And yeah, they may be like, oh yeah, you know, we closed three deals this month for 65,000, but like two of them were like flips that they did. And like one of them was like a wholesale deal where they maybe got 2,500. I'm telling y'all, man, like it's been a, it's been a thing that's going on. I'm not saying like no one's closing or anything like that or whatever, but this is just the conversations that I've been hearing. Something that I wanted to address in the podcast, kind of give y'all some game, let y'all know what's going on out here. Now, <clears throat> I honestly don't think that it has to affect business in a, in a horrible way or something like that or whatever. We've definitely got more than enough opportunities to go around, but you have to make yourself different. You got to stand out from the pack and you've got to have legendary connections out here. I think it's very, very important. Like now is the time where networking and relationships is more important now than it's ever been in the history of wholesaling in my opinion the people out here that have the most solid buyers are the ones that's getting the job done or the ones that you know have the ability to take the properties down themselves or have private capital to be able to help them take down these deals. Those are the people that are really winning right now not necessarily the people that are just getting started out here. Oh shucky ducky. Okay, hold on one second, y'all. Hold on one second. Okay. So, but yeah, there you go, guys. That's that's basically like my little theory when it comes to why I've been hearing these murmurs go around about like, man, I like I, you know, I haven't been getting as many deals, da da da, and things of that nature or whatever. But I think regardless of that, we have to adjust. We have to kind of move along the way or whatever and not just stick with one idea, one way of doing things. We have to be Willing to be flexible, in other words, in the wholesaling space. That's the only way that we're going to be able to sustain ourselves. You know, so for you guys that's just getting started out here, I say get as knowledgeable as possible about real estate. Don't just kind of lock yourself into a wholesale box, which is nothing wrong with getting all these wholesale dollars. I think that that's absolutely amazing. But I do think that you should learn these other strategies. You should be learning other, you know, creative financing strategies, other ways to get out here and get to these deals. So you're not just beholden to how many wholesale deals can I get this month? And if you are just getting started, another thing is Keep in mind, volume is important. How many people you're reaching out to is one of the most important pieces of your business is one of the most important determinants of like, are you actually closing deals or not? Because if you aren't TTP, like Brent Daniels would say, salute to Brent Daniels. You know, if you aren't TTP, then you're not going to be getting no bread out here. You got to be talking to people to get money. You have to be making offers. And if you're not talking to people, how can you make offers? Right. So we got to be shooting anyway. So but yeah, though, guys, that's just kind of like the first thing that I wanted to touch base on. You know, it's a lot of new wholesalers coming into the market and a larger percentage of deals 
are being bought by wholesalers. Well, like like they're being bought. A lot more of wholesalers deals are being bought, but I believe that they're being bought by a smaller percentage of the overall market of wholesalers available out there because there's a lot of wholesalers and there's just not as many real life. I'm ready to go buyers. So therefore, like the buyers aren't just going to work with every random newbie wholesaler out there. They're going to buy more deals from the guys that they know are already getting the job done. So people that may have fell off a little bit, like it's going to be harder for them to kind of pick back up that steam because someone else has taken their place. It's a lot of competition out here. It's a lot of new wholesalers. So like I said, right now is the time when you want to be getting the best relationships possible, really making yourself a staple in your community. I think that that's super, super important right now, guys. <clears throat> Anyway, though, man, so, um, all right, so the next topic that I want to touch base on is going to be, here we go. all right, so let's just search selling law. Let's just search this up real, real quick, see what we're working with. Let's look for news. Do, 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 do. Who are the new laws for real estate investors and wholesalers? Dum, 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 dum. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> real estate investor, wholesaler, new laws that will affect you. Last week, Governor Ducey signed HB 2747 in at home around to potential buyers. And we know this, the wholesaler has done assigned the existing real estate contract to one of the buyers. Under the scenario, the wholesaler makes money on the assignment of the contract and never intends to own the home. Pursuant to the new law, a wholesale buyer must disclose in writing to the seller that the buyer is a wholesale buyer. Similarly, a wholesale seller, which is ultimately the same party as the wholesale buyer, must disclose in writing to the buyer that the seller is a wholesale seller that holds an equitable interest in the real property and that the wholesale seller may not may not be able to convey title to the property. If a wholesale buyer fails to make the disclosures required by HB 2747, the seller may cancel the contract for sale at any time prior to the close of escrow without penalty and may retain any earnest money paid by the wholesale buyer. In other words, the seller may cancel the purchase contract and retain the earnest money. Notably, if the transaction closes with a contract that does not have HB 2747's disclosure language, the seller cannot later come back and unwind such a transaction. If a wholesale seller fails to make the disclosures required by HB 2747, the buyer may cancel the contract for sale at any time prior to the close of escrow without penalty and shall be refunded all earnest money paid by the buyer. Okay, interesting. Real estate wholesalers, investors should begin the process of updating their contracts in order to comply with HB 20. If you need a sample disclosure language or have any questions about this new law, feel free to email me at Patrick at so and so and so. That is very, very interesting, guys. So as y'all see, HB 2747, which is a law that Arizona has out there, which is going to place disclosure requirements on wholesalers and investors out in Arizona, it is officially a law now. So it's no longer just, you know, they're not just thinking about it no more. Um, it's official out here, y'all. It's official. So, you know, that's that's another update for you right there. I kind of wanted to look into that or whatever. I remember uh, when I was talking about it, I know that they was looking into turning it into a law. It was looking like it was going to pass, but it is official. This was as of last week. So just recently. So, guys, you know, I'm coming with the wholesaling news out here, as always, man. You know what I'm saying? We try to we try to come with the wholesaling news. Let y'all know what's going on out here in the wholesaling space. All right, let's bring it back. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to touch base on is that, um, you know, man, perspective, guys. You know, I hear a lot of people out here talking about, you know, their their business. You know, I talk to a lot of people all throughout the nation all the time. And one thing that I'm becoming more and more clearer about is that perspective is everything, man. Life is not necessarily like what's going on to us. But it's how we perceive these things that really makes the difference, right? So it's like if we see our situation as like, man, this is a really, really bad situation, man. Like 
woe is me. Like, what am I going to do? Like, I can't believe that I'm in this situation. Then we tend to attract more and more and more of that. Whereas like when we're facing adversity and we see that as just a learning experience or something that we can build from, something that we can grow from, like a challenge that we need to conquer. Like, man, look, I know I'm going through X, Y, Z, but man, it's just making me more hungry. I'm about to open up more nets of marketing. I'm about to get out there and make more calls. I know I'm going to get this. I'm hungry for it and I'm going to make it happen. Perception is everything. How we see our business and how we see ourselves, like our confidence in ourselves makes such an enormous difference as a wholesaler. I want y'all to know that. It's something I really, really wanted to touch base on. It's kind of, you know, some mindset type stuff. And, you know, maybe sometimes we don't talk about that enough, but it's really the whole ball game. Like if we don't have the, the mindset necessary to get out here and do what we need to do, it just makes the business so much harder, man. So I think that like make sure that you have your perception on point that like you're feeling positive, that you're waking up, feeling good. Maybe, you know, drink some water, eat some food, you know, start your day off the right way. Get some exercise in like really try to feed yourself, like make sure that you are feeling good. Don't wake up out the bed, stumbling your toe and get going through the rest of your day angry. And then, you know, you're looking down on your business. You're thinking that everything is so bad. You got to mentally put yourself in check. Like, Hey, it's okay. It could be worse. Like, let me get out here. Let me really, really grind for it because I'm hungry for it. Like I, I like to equate things like this to like a video game. You know, when I was a kid, I played a lot of video games and I look, I still even got my Xbox right here or whatever. I don't play it as much now or whatever, but I realized that when people play video games, they will play the hell out of some video games. Like you'll see a guy or a gal or whatever, <clears throat> excuse me, they'll wake up early as hell in the morning. Like they'll go get the video game on Christmas, you know, when you're a kid or something like that, you get to get the video game, you wake up, you're like, oh man, you know, you play the game all day. The next day you wake up so excited to play the game again, despite it being adversities. You know, you got defeated by the boss 38 times in a row. You frustrated, but you're willing to keep going back because you keep responding. You keep responding. You keep responding. This is how we need to see our life. This is how we need to see our business. We need to wake up every day like it's OK. This is another respawn. Every single day is another respawn. It's another opportunity for me to go out there and get it. We don't have to sit back and just feel like, man, this is it. Because we never do that on video games. Like, we will play the hell out of a video game. Play the hell out of a video game. And be confident as hell that we're going to win. And we don't even know everything that we have to do. Like, when day one on a video game, like you don't know how you're going to get to 99 on 2K when you first start. But eventually, you get it together. Because you, you follow what you need to do. The way will be shown to you. But you take the first steps in faith. You take the first steps knowing like, look, I'm going to be one of the best in this game. I'm going to be dominate my friends. I'm going to be out here. I'm going to be able to have bragging rights. That's what we all really strive for. But we need to translate that same type of energy that we will feel for a video game and translate that into real life. Y'all perception is everything we need to treat life like a video game and play it as such. But remember this. There are no respawns in real life, like when it comes to actual life, right? This is your one shot on this planet. If you listen to this, like, please hear my words, man. Like, I, for real, this is your one shot on this planet. You can't waste it. You can't tell yourself like, oh, maybe in the next life, maybe 10 years from now, 20 years, you ain't got that long. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to put in this work. And now we're always living in the residual of the work that we've put in in the past, In other words, like you can't get to the next level until you put in the work to beat this level. And if you don't beat your bosses, then you're doomed to keep facing the same reality over and over and over. Some of you all out there are afraid to make the phone calls. You're afraid to to, or you're, you're not confident in running your numbers. Some of you all are putting yourself down or beating yourself up because you haven't gotten that deal quite yet. And I know it can be hard. I know it can be frustrating. I've been there, too. But you got to be willing to keep getting back up, to keep trying again, keep trying to slay that dragon, to beat that boss. Otherwise, you're doomed to keep going through the same things over and over and over. It'll be the same exact issues, problems, circumstances, and you'll constantly have to keep facing it until you determine 
to defeat the boss. And so you figure out what you personally need to do to defeat your bosses. It can be your vices. Maybe you need to stop smoking. Maybe you need to stop drinking or whatever else it is. Playing video games, watching too much Netflix or TV, watching too much sports, going out to go hang out all the time and stuff like that. If you really care about your business, you got to treat it like a child that's on life support. It needs you every single day. You can't take this stuff lightly. Don't ever take it lightly. Take it seriously if you really, 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 really want it. Perception is everything. You really got to get out here and and, and work differently, man. It's not going to be easy. If it was easy, then everybody would be doing this stuff. And you may think that everyone's out here crushing it and stuff like that. But like I just told y'all earlier, man, everyone's not crushing it. And if you want to be crushing it, you got to be different. You got to be shooting in the gym early. You got to be hungry to wake up early because you want to beat the game the day after Christmas. That's how you got to feel the day after Christmas. I'm hungry. I want to beat the game. That's the energy that you need to be coming with on a daily basis in your wholesaling business. If you really want to get out here and start to dominate, if you really want to get out here and make a name for yourself, because it's not easy. It's not easy, man. It's, it's really, really, and I think a lot of people get into this space and, you know, we get kind of hyped up off of the, the sales pitch that a lot of, you know, us gurus or coaches or whatever will put out there or whatever, like, oh, you know, you're going to get your first deal in no time. You got this and da, 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 da. Well, honestly, most people don't got this. Like most people are average. Most people are basic. But for you out there that that are willing to actually grind, some of you all are just listening to my words and y'all going to go back to your life and not do anything about this. The majority of people listen to this. That's actually what's going to happen. Let's just keep it a buck. But for those of you out there that are real grinders, that are real hungry, I hope that these words really, really push you to action today, man. I'm in the zone. I'm telling you, I'm something else is talking through me right now. Somebody needed to hear these words. So perception is everything man really get out there put in that work really grind for your business man treat it like it was a child on life support treat it like it was a family member or a friend like somebody that really needs you that's how you got to treat your business that's how you got to treat your dreams regardless of whether it's wholesaling or anything else you got to really take this stuff seriously don't take this stuff lightly all right so i'm not gonna get too philosophical and too deep man because you know i'm gonna be up in here preaching y'all I'm trying to tell you but hey comment down below if, if, if y'all want me to kind of preach in some of these videos or whatever and really kind of get into that zone and just like really tell y'all what y'all really, really need to hear, man. I know a lot of this wholesaling stuff is like, hey, go out there and do A, B, and C. It's literally thousands of videos on YouTube on how to do A, B, C to get to your first deal, right? The problem is most people don't actually have that motivation. Most people are employees, and you need somebody else to have their foot in your ass so you can get out there and do what's actually needed to get the job done once and for all. You need to hear the words that you need to hear. Not what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. Because a lot of us, we just used to someone else telling us what to do. And we're like, okay, I'll go do it because someone else told me to do it. A lot of us need that coming from the employee space. It's not natural to just transition over. So if you need somebody to kind of put your put the foot in your ass or whatever, <laughs> schedule a strategy session down below, man. <laughs> like for real, man. Like this is the energy that I like to give y'all when when we're on these strategy sessions. I want y'all to know that like, look, it's possible, but it's going to take some work. It's not going to be easy. And I want to give y'all the step by step, but I also want to give you the mindset behind it as well. I think that that's very, very important. I think I've consistently tried to do that throughout the years on this YouTube channel, but I like it. Like I can kind of get into the zone a little bit more when I get into these little long form conversations. So I hope that y'all appreciate this type of content, man. Um, this is getting a little bit long. It's only, yeah, we're about like 25 minutes now. That's not too, too bad. Um, let's see, let's see what other topics I want to touch base on. I'm not going to hold y'all here. This is going to be like the inaugural, inaugural, <laughs> like I can't even say, inaugural episode, excuse me. Of like me doing the wholesaler mastermind podcast, like in this format. Let me know if y'all prefer for me to kind of stream this live and we could talk about different topics. I could be answering y'all questions as we go along the way, stuff like that. Maybe pop on here for like an hour or two occasionally and things like that. I will probably be down. Let me know down below if y'all would like something like that. Um, and also, uh, let's see. 
Another thing that I want to chat with y'all about, man, I'm actually considering starting up a new YouTube channel, man, where I can, you know, kind of just discuss different topics, anything that's kind of going on out here. Obviously, I know that the riches are in the niches. But, um, yeah, I'm starting up a new channel. Not exactly sure what the specific topic would be. But um, yeah, man, I want to bring y'all some new content, some new game, let y'all experience me in a different type of way. I've got a lot of value that I can give for, uh, to you all or whatever. You know, wholesaling is one of the ways that I make money. I would love to be able to share a lot more game with you all, be able to put y'all on to different things like affiliate income and, you know, starting up little side hustles that I've done or would be willing to implement myself so y'all can kind of see how it goes and I can try it out for us and kind of see whether it works or not. Um, all different types of things, man. Like I would love to actually, um, give y'all that. Just let me know, like, would y'all like something like that? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to switch up my format a little bit or whatever, you know, have a lot more comfortable, relaxed videos coming out. So where I don't even have to think too, too hard, but I can still give y'all value, give y'all game answering y'all questions sometimes is the best content out there or whatever. Y'all give me the best content that I make. So, um, and yeah, I think that's just about it, man. And make sure that y'all Go check out the We Buy Houses merch, man. We got the We Buy Houses and some other designs on my new merch shop down below. You'll probably see it below this video, depending on when you're watching or whatever. Definitely grab yourself. This is one of the We Buy Houses sweaters right here. I like it. It fits nice. This is a medium. It fits me perfectly. I usually wear a medium. It's nice, man. So definitely check it out. Much more premium quality clothing right here. Wanted to get y'all some good stuff. So, man, definitely check it out so you can show off your love for the wholesaling space. You dig? <laughs> All right, guys, real quick, man. I was editing this video and I realized that I had some audio errors inside of the video. Trust me, we gonna get those things taken care of, but just wanted to kind of officially kind of end this video properly because my audio went out again or whatever. So, Guys, I hope that y'all staying healthy and blessed as always. And man, if y'all want to check out more videos like this where I'm kind of getting into, you know, a lot of different topics, I've got some other live stream videos on my channel. You can check it out with this playlist right here. And until next time, guys, we are. <laughs>